Ted, it's him. He's here. Ted, Ted. I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you, did you not see him? Him? The red man, he was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I, I don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay, just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too. But now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. You're stupid. Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No. Because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm, I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. It has funny signs on it, Ted. How do you think it works? I don't. Because it doesn't. It's advisable to carry a piece of chalk with you at all times. What? Does it say, back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. Okay, thank you. Ugh. Brian? What? I'm not Brian, I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is! Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? No, no, he has a real mustache and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait. So, am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian! We're totally different! He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil-may-care, dangerous, and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache! Look at it! They're kind of sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not. Dull. I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Cause that might be a federal offense. Might be. You're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something something and... You let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> 
guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. Doll's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, fine. What do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. What? You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. Hmm. Hey, how about a proper old-fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. The amazing world of bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet that'll make you a billionaire. It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. What am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? How was it? They... They should have sent a poet. Can you feel it, buddy? Feel what? The warmth. I can feel it. What is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. A blanket made of... Money. All right, go on in. Nothing in there but rubble and ash anyways. <laughs> Idiots. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. Let's go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is... Good point. I'll just confiscate this, obviously. Shouldn't we, <clears throat> like, uh... What? You know, establish a perimeter? What does that even mean? Besides, do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. Well, bear. Is it the stubble? It's more your posture and the dusty old suit. That's the color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark, uh, color. It's just dust, Ted. It's falling off of you. Yeah, well this place is dusty. It's dusting up my... You're dusty. Now, let's get to work, goddammit. I don't feel like standing inside a burned-down factory at night for some reason. I'll just take this adjustable wrench with me. Adjustable? That's what I said. There, we got our wrench pipe. It's a mighty tool. There we go. Good as new. There. Good as new. Great job, Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? Westpaw casino matches. B was right. This is a solid lead, doll. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. Clark? Clark? Buddy?
What the? Maybe we should just... Yeah, let's go back. Hello? Do you know what time it is? Who's there? Late night pizza delivery. Enjoy the bite out of our midnight special. Late night pizza? What nonsense is this? We would appreciate it if you didn't bash on our business model, sir. Be gone, you kids. That's rude. Some people. It's the National Security Committee. We need to talk to the mayor. It's urgent. And what is this all about? We need him to save the president's life, man. Hmm. And who is our president? God damn it. Okay, who is our president? Howard? No, no. His mandate ended last year. No, you're thinking of Mitchell. Am I? Was he the one with the dress? All right, whatever. Will you let us in? God damn it. Be gone, you kids. Hello there, fellow corrupt official. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Almighty Buck? Absolutely not. Didn't think so. It's the overpriced mansion inspection. Can we come in? Your colleague was here just this morning. Wait, really? Yes. Now leave me alone. It's the middle of the night. Well, I'm stumped. It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills. It's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh my. All right. Better come in, you two. Are we political activists now? Don't be silly. I just like stickers. Hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and the rest of the gang? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow the Yellow Brick Road. Will you cut it out? Hi there, sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the steel mill fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well, we represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my god, stop it, Ted. No one even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that one. Yeah, it is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. Aye. Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the nice man now. As you wish, madam. Sir, Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey Lloyd. Say it. Say Lloyd's here too. And <sighs> her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. <laughs> wow. That was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this along? What's the holdup? Master Mills is expecting you in his office. Hmm. Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lloyd. It's up the stairs to your right. Watch your step. Sure. And hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. Just ignore him. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been, you old so-and-so? Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo, how are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we got old Bear. We sure did. Ah, uh, if I could go back now when life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girlie. One day soon, you'll wake up and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. 
Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Ah, indeed. Good help is hard to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Hmm? Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. We sure could use your level of expertise. So I've been told. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. We used the East Tunnel's maintenance shaft, but the thing collapsed behind us. It's closed off completely now. Maintenance shaft? That's clever. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from you two. Eh, whatever the case, I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you two already heard about the... Red Man? We did. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop him. He's a maniac, Ted. And I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. It was a clear message. Now, whenever I look out that window, I see rubble, Ted. We had a chance to snoop around the mill for a while. How sure are you that Red did this? What do you mean? Who else- Is this a statue of you? Ah, uh, well, yes, Federico Champone himself made it for me when I was elected the mayor. Just, uh, be careful, girl. What do you mean, Ted? Who else would have done it? Ever since that monster showed up, there have been new fires every day. He'll burn her to the ground, Ted. Our beautiful city. Not the description I would use, but sure. What evidence? I found some things the police apparently overlooked. Both lead to the infamous casino owner. King? I, I don't believe it. King and I... W w w w w yeah, your buddies. No need to hide from me, Daniel. I'm here to help you. I wouldn't call us buddies. We socialize. What evidence do you have of this? We found the matches used to start the fire. They belong to the Westpaw Club and Casino. D Dad, these are serious allegations. If I'm to move against King, I have to have some hard-pressed facts. Wow, this is a big key. Is it for some huge house? That's, um... That, that's the key to the city, girl. Actually, Ted here was one of the few to receive it. He didn't show up to the ceremony? No, he did, but he was, well... Sleepy that day. He was drunk, wasn't he? Can we move this along? We have a long night in front of us. We'll stop by King's Casino tonight. If I can get into his lounge, I'll go and ask him some questions. Where is your key, Ted? I gave it away to Charity. Doll, please, let us talk. Ted, be smart about this. You think King will just play along? I don't care anymore, Daniel. I'm here to finish this. If that means I have to dive headfirst in the shark tank, then so be it. King was left to his own devices for too long, and now he's brought this disaster to our city. It's time to put an end to his reign. God damn it, son. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help? You can get us into the casino, for starters. We'll take it from there. I'll snoop around and see if I can find some evidence that'll help our case. What I'm saying is I found some things at the mill that would suggest someone wanted to make it look like Red did it to cover his tracks. Whoa, 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 wait. You think King was the one that brought Red to Paper City? I don't know yet. It's what I suspect. Hmm. Uh, could this have something to do with the elections? Well, that's a motive if I ever saw one. All right, Ted. You're in luck, actually. I'm really not. No? I mean, there's a gala at the casino tonight. Some fundraiser King's throwing. For underprivileged rich snobs? I don't know. I want to say owls. Doesn't matter. All right, we'll go and try to get in. Ted, if you do manage to get in, don't let King get the upper hand. He won't hesitate. <gasps> to kill us? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. Anyways, we have to go now, Daniel. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sure thing, Ted. Just want your back out there. Huh. Thanks. Will do. Bye, Mr. Mills. It's me. They're on the way. Ted, wait. We need to go back. We didn't ask him about Flint. Stay. I didn't ask him anything, because I don't really trust him. He was acting a bit strange tonight. It could have something to do with the Red Man, like he said. But something feels off. Like what? I don't know yet, but I intend to find out. Let's just head to the casino for now. We'll deal with Mills later. Okay.
As I suspected, seeking out Tigran was a waste of time. We came to a dead end, literally and figuratively. It got the doll mad. I admire Amber. She'll be a fine detective herself one day, but sometimes she tends to rely on speculations too much. I understand why she feels this way though, seeing as we're still miles away from finding her brother. CBG's tip about the steel mill, however, proved right on the nose, although we found some evidence surprisingly overlooked by the ever-incompetent PCPD. I can't shake the feeling they were set up a little too conveniently. Westpaw Casino matches and a voodoo trinket which suggest involvement of the infamous Reef King. <laughs> King is as smart as he is ruthless. And it seems to me, leaving all that obvious clues around doesn't really fit the MO of a man who eluded the hands of justice for most of his life. Something was fishy about all of this, but it wasn't the shark. This whole red situation seems like a perfect opportunity for someone to hide their tracks. Someone with highly political ambitions. Daniel Mills is a politician through and through, no doubt about it. I've known Daniel for a long time, but knife to my throat, I couldn't tell you three things about him that you couldn't read in any newspaper. That's why I could never trust him, and I don't trust him now. If the pig and the shark think they can turn Paper City into their own political battleground at the cost of people's lives, I'll take them both down. What are I... you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you sitting in the sound booth alone? Were you doing your diary thing again? It's not a diary. I needed some time to think. Can you close the door? Fine, can you hurry up? We have a case to solve. You can record your little diary later. Will you just... God damn it! I lost my train of thought. Might as well just wrap it up. Relax, jeez. Take your time, Anne Frank. <sighs> she ruined it. Can you cut that out in post? Sure thing, buddy. I'll definitely remember to do that. Anyways, all the clues seem to lead to the Westpaw Casino, so I'll play ball for now. Let's just see how all of this plays out, and eventually how deep fried this surf and turf dish really is. Hopefully, come dawn, we'll be one step closer to finding Flint than we are now. <laughs>